Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, got a real special treat for you today. I want to introduce you to our newest animal resident here at the zoo. Look at him behind me. Is that not the most beautiful, incredible animal you've ever seen? Now you guys know, because you've been to the zoo before, what that is. It's a red panda. Wonderful, cool animal from the northern parts of China and even in Nepal. So they're found way up in the mountains. This particular guy, his name is Dual. He's pretty young, but he's a big boy. And usually these guys top out at about 14 pounds and he's not too far off that. So he's a big, big red panda. But the cool thing is, is well, what they're built for, and that's of course living up in the trees in the mountainous area. So it's cold right now, but that's okay to him. He's built for it. He's got incredible fur. And get this, fur covers their entire body, even the bottoms of their feet helps to keep them warm when of course it gets pretty chilly. Now as you can imagine the name red panda you probably think of the big giant panda the black and white panda they're not related although they are found in the same area so believe it or not a red panda and a giant panda could potentially cross paths out in the wild but the cool thing about red pandas they're in a family all their own they're all by themselves they're not really related to anything else out there they're kind of a mystery in, in nature but what's really neat is that they are a bamboo eater and that's generally what they eat most of and they've got a really special bone in the wrist that allows them to grip and eat the bamboo. Kind of a cool characteristic that giant pandas have just like the red panda does as well. The other cool thing about these animals is the fact they've got that big beautiful long tail you see there. Of course that helps to keep them balanced when they're way up in the trees. And we are very excited. This guy he's in quarantine right now because he just came to us. We want to make sure he doesn't have any kind of illness or anything. But in a couple weeks, very soon actually, he's going to go out and meet our other red pandas. We'll keep our fingers crossed that they do very well together. Now last but not least, you're looking at a pretty special animal. Sadly, there's not many of them left out in the wild. Only about 10,000 of them left out there. So they're considered a vulnerable animal, which means they're pretty close to being an endangered species. But boy, what a cool animal to see. And you can actually see three of them now right here at Zoo Montana. So come on out, check them out and see how beautiful and cool these animals are living up in their trees. So until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with Dooley, our new beautiful male red panda. See you guys real soon.